Hey guys, I hope you all are doing great. Today's video is about uh, user forms in Excel. Creating user forms in Excel can be a useful skill for those who want to enhance their spreadsheets with custom interfaces and functions. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial and I will guide you how to create user forms in Excel. First of all, we have to enable the developer options which appears somewhere here. By default, the developer options are hidden in Excel. So we have to uh, enable them. Uh, for that, you just need to go to File and click on Options. Uh, this interface will open. Just click on Customize Ribbon. Just drag down and you will see Developer tab here. Just enable on it and click OK. It will open a Developer Options here for you. Just click on it and now we will click on Visual Basic. It opens Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. Now what will we do? We will just click on insert and user form. It opens a user form for me like this. And this is a toolbox. And toolbox helps us for customization. It has several options. So now we will create a simple student form here. For that we need some uh, like text labels. So I will add some labels here. It's label 1. Then we will add some more. I will just add 5 of them. Label 3. This one is label 4. And here comes the label 5. Just adjust them so that they are in line. It doesn't need to be in line. So it looks good. Okay, now I will just uh, pick up the text boxes where we will input the data. Just I will adjust the size. Then another text box. We have five labels, so we need five text boxes as well. And user form are really helpful when you are entering data because it gives us flexibility of doing so. Uh, so this here's the fourth one. And I need the last one that would come here. Yeah, and I need two buttons as well. There are two command buttons. I will name one insert or submit. Second one, I will name it as refresh because whenever we will input some wrong data, so we'll click on this and all of the form will refresh. So I will edit the labels as well. First of all, I am going to enter the student ID. Then I will enter the student name. Then I will call it as father name. Then uh, the fourth one would be address and the last one would be phone. Okay, so our form is pretty much uh, ready and now what we have to do is just go back to our Excel and we need to create the columns with this exact same name as we have mentioned our labels. So first column would be student ID. It's actually case sensitive so make sure that it's exactly the same. The second one would be student name. The third one would be the father name and then address and then phone. I just adjust the width of it so it seems good. I just give them some colors so that it looks like that it is header. Okay, so now as we have given them the exact names now it's time to actually code the buttons because these buttons are the ones which are responsible for entering the data or refreshing. So they have to perform some actions. So we have to code them actually. So first of all, I will go back to my, uh, Microsoft Visual Basics and I will code the insert button. I'll just clear this one. This is for command button one, which is our what we call it as uh, insert button. So I'll just paste this code here. So. What does this code mean that first of all, we have to provide the name of the sheet, which is in our case, 
when I go back, it's sheet one. So then actually this line range A and rows dot count. It, it actually comes here and counts all the rows to the end of the sheet. There are actually multiple rows in this sheet. So it will count till the end that how many rows are present in there. So then and these A, B, C, D and E corresponds to these columns actually like A, B, C, D and E. So text box one, this is text box one. Whatever value we enter in text box one goes in the column A. First of all, it will fill up the first row, then the second. Then similarly, the uh, text box two's value will go in B. Similarly, text box three's value will go in the C column and text box four value will go in the D column and similarly text box five will go into the E column. So, uh, after entering the values, these line of code, these five line of code actually refresh the field so that whenever we enter the data, so that same data does not submit again and again. So for the refresh button, I'll just copy this code because it just clears the fields and I will paste it here. It completes the coding part and now let's check whether the form is working or not. To see whether the form is working or not, we have to run this form by clicking this run button. When I click the run button, it opens up in Excel. So I will enter the student ID, suppose one, two, three, student name as Sam and father name as Cooper. Address, I will enter, let's say house 937 and phone as 98765. It's just for testing. I will click insert. Look, the data is submitted in the sheet. Now let's see whether the refresh button works or not. I'll just enter some random data and click refresh. It should not submit. It should just clear the fields. Yeah, it did. So our form is working perfectly. But whenever we have to close the form, we have to again go back here and run it. So it's actually really a hectic task to go back to the Microsoft Visual Basic again and again and to run the form. So there is a solution for that as well. You can create a shortcut button some, somewhere here so that whenever you click the button, this form appears automatically. The shortcut is meant for uh, that you don't uh, need to go back again and again to run this form from here. So let's see how to create the shortcut button so that we do not need to go back again and again to run the form. So for creating the shortcut button, just come back here, click on insert and click on module. So you have to code a new module or you can call it as macros copy this code it says that student form dot show and it's ending the module here after you entered that just close this one from here and now the next step is that you have to rename the form actually we called that form in the macro as student underscore form so you have to rename that and now we have to come back to the excel and go back to the developer options and go to insert and click on button you just need to select the cells where you want to create a button it will open this assigned macro window just click on enter student details the macro you created there and click on ok just edit the button name i will call it as click me to enter details okay so now when i click this button the form pops here i don't need to go back to the microsoft visual basics like here to run it the macro is doing this for me so let's check whether it's working or not one two three uh just change the student id student name i will call it as helen father name as smith address as like abc phone 9087 i'll click on insert and it added the data successfully now let's see whether our refresh button is working yeah it is working so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i hope you liked this one have a good day